In this tutorial, I'm going to go into different scenarios where you might want to use either the Pathfinder operations or the shape building tool. So I have some basic shapes. You have a bunch of circles here, and then I have a 10 pointed star and some circles here. On the right, I am going to use the Pathfinder operations here, and I'm going to use them in succession to create a gear, and that is going to be a little bit easier uh, to do than using the shape builder tool for this particular shape. And then with this shape, I am going to use the shape builder tool to make a bird. So first I want to start with the Pathfinder operations here, and I'm just going to select two shapes at a time when I do this, uh, because if I select all shapes, I just simply won't get what I want. So first I'm going to select the star and hold the shift key to select the outer circle. And I'm then going to choose the intersect option, which is going to get rid of the points. And then I am going to select what's left of the star and the next circle and choose the union to combine them together. And then I'm just going to select the inner circle and I'm going to subtract that front shape, which doesn't change the way it looks. But if I were to fill this back in with a color, it would then make it a gear. And the reason it's easier to use the Pathfinder operation palette rather than the shape building tools, I don't have to go into all of the corners here of the gear and uh, select each of them individually. So let me just back up by pressing undo. And if I go back here and I select all of these, I can certainly use the shape builder tool, but I'm gonna have to go around and select all of these and it's just gonna take a little bit longer. So it's a little bit easier in this case to go ahead and simply use uh, the Pathfinder operations because it will just be done more quickly. And this shape is relatively intuitive to that way because it's symmetrical, right? And so I have to come in now and connect all of these. So it's really much more time consuming, but it can be done. So I would use the Pathfinder operations for this kind of gear shape. Now to make the bird, I am going to use the shape builder tool because the combinations of shapes that I want to get together are a little bit more complex. I certainly could use the pathfinder operation, but in this particular case, it's going to be easier to use the shape builder tool. So first of all, I'm going to select all of the shapes, all, and they're just circles. I'm going to grab my shape builder tool, and first of all, I'm going to go ahead and kind of try to get the body of the bird which is this shape right here. I'm then going to get the wing, and I am then going to get the beak. So I now have the main shape of my bird with maybe a few kinks in it that we can fix later on. And then everything else, I'm gonna hold the Option key on a Mac or Alt on a PC and get rid of all of these other shapes so that I am just left with the shape of the bird. And so that, for me, it was a little bit faster to do it that way because I could kind of see the shape I wanted and just get it much more quickly. Whereas if I had done the Pathfinder operations, I certainly could do that. Okay, But I would have to be more careful with how I did it. I would have to select the two circles that I wanted to be the beak and choose the intersection. I would then have to choose the head and the beak and I would have to intersect that. I'll do that. Okay, yeah. And I would want to combine those two together. Then I would have to come in here and make sure this circle was in front of this circle and then do the subtraction. And I got lucky in this case and it was. And then in this case, I want to just keep this part here. So if I get rid of these two and I do that, that is correct. But I'm going to now run into issues when I want to combine this shape and this shape together. I can combine those together, but now I'm kind of stuck. I can't necessarily combine these two shapes together in the way that I want to. I'm really going to have to use the Shape Builder tool or add another shape to go ahead and make that possible. So in this case, it was easier to use the Shape Building tool. However, right, you can use either one. It's just 
in some cases the shape builder tool is better and in some cases the pathfinder operations are better.